up guys, welcome back to another Twine and Irons tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be building Lava Amplifier. It's pretty simple, it's not super complicated and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty low budget for people who are struggling for structures. It is a split geyser build, so let's go ahead and get into that. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a trap here, or a wall, a floor there, wall there, and then you're going to want a wall dynamo right here. All right, so this can just be a, if you have double reload, use double reload. If you do not have double reload, then don't worry about it. It can just be single reload. Like I have double reload right here. Um, and then on this floor tile, it's going to be one of the double reload, effect duration, durability, freeze traps. And then here you can just have your standard 144 wall dart. Alright. Now for the next bit, we actually don't need this pillar anymore because they got rid of the spawns. Okay, so for the amp design. You're going to do a floor here, and then these are going to be edited floors like this, right? And then you're going to have your arch or your, um, your triangles. What are they? I lost my train of thought. Uh, you're going to have your Doritos here. And then this is just going to be like this. And then you'll have one here. Alright, and then this side's going to be fairly similar. So you're going to have one here. But instead you're going to change this to this. You're going to have a little corner piece like this. And then you're going to have... Actually, I believe right here is supposed to go like this. I'm pretty sure. Or no, no, I have it wrong. It goes like... It goes one of the ways, I don't remember. How did it go? Because this is... No, I, I remember, I'm just being silly. Um, so this is covered right here, right? And then this is supposed to be a... Z block, like so. Well, I think I had it, I had it flipped the other way around, I remember. I had it flipped this way, and then this was a, this was like this, and then this was like this. Remember. I had it like that. And then you will need a ceiling right here with a ceiling gas trap because you will occasionally get midgets banging on this floor. That's just there for them. And then if you feel, if you want to be super safe, it says one, two, three, it'll shoot them. You can put a wall dart on this tile, right? Okay, so now that that's done, Oh, there is one more, one more here, and then for this back side, this is going to be door, door, I think it was just two doors. I don't think this one's a door. I think this one is just like this. Because the husks, they just walk along this. 
But I know these were out like this. I, I did have a piece there on this corner to keep them from walking. Because they kept wanting to get stuck on this edge. Ultimately, if you wanted to, you could put like a wooden floor spike right here to keep the midgets from banging on it. You could do like a like a low power level. You wouldn't want a high power level one. I don't seem to have any more. Let me craft some more 77s. Let's see, where are they? There they are. So you could do a 77, or whatever your wooden floor spike is. You could do it right there. Um, I don't really think it's necessary, I just add an extra layer right here. An extra layer of protection. And then here, this is going to be simple, so... It's literally just one, two, and then it comes here, and then this one flip-flops. Oof, I fell in the lava. Alright, so for the wall bomb shift, right? So this is going to come all the way to right here, this block off. So you're going to have one more here, one more right here. They will walk up past this, they'll path right here, and then they'll walk around this. And so that's going to go like so. You'll have one more there, this will all be these on the inside of here. The, this one right here will be a full wall. But then you'll have this blocked off. And you can opt to have this blocked off, but it doesn't really matter because the husks aren't going to want to try to walk in that way. Because they can't get to the battery. Um, you will need in here, you will need a ceiling zapper and a wall dynamo inside of this box because there is husk that phase into here occasionally. And then this comes out. This goes up. Like that. Actually, I don't even think there were floors here. Hold up, I'll find out in a second. <laughs> okay, yep, we're good. Alright, so this, uh, this pillar actually goes... So yeah, it goes up one more. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm really stupid. Alright, so it goes up one more. And then it goes here. And then you put a cone right here. You can add one more pillar right here if you want to, but I don't really feel that it's needed. You can just do the one because as soon as they try to path, they're going to get launched. Alright, now to make sure that they don't path into here, right, we're going to put, we're going to put one more floor tile actually. And then you're going to put a full wall here and a edited wall like this. Go do that. 
And you still don't even need the floor. I don't know why I keep putting the floor there. Um, okay. So now we will put a tarpet here. And on this one, it's going to be a three times impact double reload wall launcher. Right? Three times impact double reload. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put a Dorito right here. We will need one more Dorito right here. And then you'll put a sound wall on this wall. Healing, uh, double reload, because you don't want them to break that wall at all. And then ultimately what the husks are going to be trying to do is they're trying to path right here. That's where you want them to go. You want them to path that way. So yeah. Okay, so now for the second part of... Oop, you do need a Dorito there. And it helps to put one here because they will try to squeeze through the crack for whatever reason. I don't know why. But I always just put a Dorito there as well. Okay, for the geyser. Guys, this geyser is pretty simple. So it's literally just going to be like this to make sure they can't walk up. And then you're going to have a pillar right here. They're going to come in this way. You're going to have two walls. You can take this out if you really want to. And then you can... And I'd probably leave that full because it doesn't matter now. But then you're going to put pillars around the whole thing. Oop. Oh, my mouse is moving slow. And then for this, you're just going to put a cone here. And then you're going to have arches on one of these. So arch, 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 boom, like that. Bring this back, put it, edit it like that. And then you're just going to have ceilings. Not one right there. You don't need a ceiling right there. You will want a ceiling right here, though. You'll want it for, to put it like a, a ceiling electric field there. And then here you will have a damage anteater. I use uh, three damage, single reload, two dura. And then to combat the lobbers, you will need a wooden floor spike here. Doesn't have to do a lot of damage. And then you need a wooden floor spike here. That'll keep any lobbers from lobbing at the amplifier. They won't try to. And then you can also throw in right here. You can also throw in like a ceiling electric field to kill anything that might possibly try to walk that way. Alright, now for the geyser pathings, right? So this geyser is going to go up. It's going to... It's going to be a floor here connecting it. You're going to wall it off like so. And then you're going to have your... You're going to have your door. your doors surrounding it. And then we're going to go over here to this pathing that I had for... We're going to go over here to this pathing that I had for... Um, hmm, I keep losing my... Sorry, I'm running on like no hours of sleep in the past few days. Um, yeah, so you're going to bring it out to here. And then once the husks get up here, actually, you probably want it one lower. So you'll actually want it, that's where I remember that from. Okay. So you're actually going to want this to be like this, and then have that going there. And then all the husks will just get knocked into here. And go willingly on their way. 
You could probably even take that one off and just have like a have like a catch right here just to make sure they don't fall off. You could have this as well on the sides because they're not going to be able to drop down here. They can't drop down because it's one, two, three, four tiles. So as soon as they get up there, they're stuck. They're going to go straight to the geyser. So they're going to they're going to get knocked up and then they're going to go this way. To the storm shield geyser. Okay. Now for the other geyser pathing. So for this geyser pathing, you will need a few more structures. Um, all right. So you're going to come here. You're going to start right here. Then you're going to go down. Then you're going to one, two, three, four, five. Put one more here. Alright, and then you're going to go one, two, three, you just got to cover this whole thing. You just don't want, um, you, you want it to be like this. You want to cover the whole thing, I would suggest doing a, I mean they're going to break this anyways, but the floor tile needs to be here because otherwise the AI will just automatically try to suicide into the hole, it won't even try to walk up to the geyser. It'll just suicide into the hole instead of going where it's supposed to. So now for to get them up to there, it's pretty simple. It's just you start right here, and then you start making a pathway up. That's all it is. Boom. And that is the entirety of. Oh, I didn't include the traps over here. I'm sorry, I was about to leave y'all empty handed. So this tile right here is a tar pit. All dura. With a one times impact double reload wall launcher. And then this is just a 2x, one of the duped 2x flow launchers. Right here. And then that should be the entire build. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, have fun building.